Allah Almighty says in chapter 76 of the Quran هَلْ أَتَى عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ حِينٌ مِّنَ الدَّهْنِ لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا Has a time not come where man was nothing worthy of mention. There came a time when man was not created and he was not in existence to begin with. This verse is a response to those who doubt whether God Almighty has the ability to resurrect us after death and hold us accountable. For Allah Almighty is telling us that there came a time when we weren't even mentioned of and we weren't in existence and Allah brought us into existence so it is much easier for Him to return us into existence after our second life. Well, my purpose of life is basically live life to the fullest and remember your boundaries, I guess. That's everything about life. To do everything you do with love and to um, peace for the world and that um, we all trying to make life better for everyone and not fight against each other but to fight for it, uh, to help each other. Yeah. I believe you make your own purpose in life. The love of God and neighbour. Um, I think um, probably to live um, a happy, generous, loving life. I think that's purpose enough in itself. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, I don't know, uh, but I'm actually quite excited to find out. Hopefully there's some kind of lovely afterlife where we will find peace and rest and oneness with God. You just rot away, die, nothing happens. No, you just, it's like sleeping, you just go. Long sleep. Yeah, long sleep. I believe in reincarnation. I, yeah, me too. I believe in reincarnation. Yeah. So I think I'll come back next life as a cat, <laughs> as someone else. Well, judged by God, after Hari Kiamat, which is the end of days, and on that day, your your dosa, which is your sins, will be will be calculated, and your pahla, which is well, the, the good things that you have done in life and, you know, it then means whether you're going to heaven or hell. So that's about it. Religion. God. I think of the five, um, oh my God, what's it called? The five pilgrims that you guys um, follow. So I think of Hajj, I think of the Kaaba. Um, I think of the flag. <laughs> just stars and moon. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think of the colour green as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Which is a bit random. Yeah. But we have quite a few Muslim friends, don't we? So. Yeah. Um, Muhammad, the Quran, and my degree, <laughs> religious studies. <laughs> What's your favourite food? <laughs> <laughs> how the hijab and how it makes them feel and how it makes them affects them in British society. If you're a Malaysian, you definitely need to listen to this. Whether are you a real Muslim or you just follow it because everyone else is just following it. Are you faithful? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Um, Mohammed. I don't, I don't know anything, really. Principally what I've seen through the texts and what I know through Muslims themselves. Um, 
Not much. I used to know more when I studied <laughs> when I studied religion. Um, no, I don't know too much about him. They say I'm. I don't really know much about him. No. <laughs> know that um, he was a messenger of God, and he was given the Quran to write down and started the Muslim movement. Oh, well, I will save you. That's it. That's all. That's going to be the only answer. He is our savior. What is the purpose of life? We as Muslim believe that we have a purpose in this life. For example, we believe that everything that exists on the surface of this earth and everything that has been created by God has a purpose. Nothing came into existence for no purpose. For example, the jacket that you wear has a purpose. The watch that you wear has a purpose. The car that you drive has a purpose. Therefore, what is the purpose of your existence in this world? What is the purpose of your life? You must have a purpose. And that purpose is to worship God Almighty alone with no partner and do not associate anything beside God. A man came to one of the most knowledgeable scholars in the time of Muslim history known by Ahmad ibn Hanbal. He came to him. He said, you worship God. You worship Allah. Have you seen him? Have you felt him? Have you talked to him? And then Ahmad ibn Hanbal replied, No, we have not seen him. We have not talked to him directly. And we have not touched him. And then the man said, Then you are worshipping an entity that you do not know about. Ahmad ibn Hanbal replied to this man, He said, Are you a normal person? Or are you an insane person? He replied, I am a normal person. He said, what differentiates you from an insane person? He said, my brain. He said, okay, you claim that you have a brain. He said, yes, I do have a brain. He said, have you touched your brain? He said, no. He said, have you seen your brain? He said, no. He said, have you smelled your brain? He said, no. He said, well, then you don't have a brain. He said, of course I do have a brain. He said, well, there is God who created the entire universe.